Okay. <clears throat> Let's continue. Already went there, bitch. And took my best trouble. the bathrooms. Bitch, really? I do What are you doing there? Get down there. Flying. Well, I can't. Okay. Spawn again. It's no, fuck you. In memory of heroic angels who gave their lives to forces known and unknown for the production and great knowledge of all humankind, we are their sacrifice. Hmm. Fuck you. Honor nothing.
there is actually a level 6 clearance, okay. Epilepsy! is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Has the Hiss found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? Okay, I just went in circles, but I opened... Panopticon. Someone is not happy. But again, we know that this place is within the real world. Since Dylan and I knew each other, I've 
wondered about him, what kind of man he'd grow up to be, were things as hard for him as they were for me. Maybe in here, they were even harder. Bitch, you had a sugar life. Compared to, oh, there's the other doctor. Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right, uh, well, okay, hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour, you have hiss everywhere. <laughs> new director? So like, what? You've been the director the here for, You're the director. for a long time. Here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered items. I don't items, have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. And it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV, it's, uh, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh... I usually tell first timers not to touch anything, so uh just do that. Here. I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am. Call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. <laughs> can we provide any assistance at this time, sir? Only if you can reboot the cell door protocols without manually accessing them. Sir, we are not. No rush. It's just. Do you like work? Sure. I mean, yeah, the drama's a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the postal service. I checked better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better. I'm, uh, close to them. I can't tell if that's creepy. How do you keep the altered items under? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Singing to them. Did he say singing? Flipping the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not superstition if it works. What's the difference between objects of power and altered items? Think of them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. And how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them making them aggressive. Now they're all raining, I don't know, knives. Knife rain. Nice metaphor. Did you work closely with Trench? Oh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them. The inner circle. Not that I care. Trench certainly had his favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no smoking policy? It does. Just not for Trench. Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent because my uncle knew a guy. From there, I got put on a desk until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. At which point I got bumped up to management. Put in a steady eight hours a day for another 10 years and voila, supervisor. I just picked up a gun. <laughs> gun picked me. Like always. If you only knew!